Conquistador Captain Juan de Salcedo sold the help of two Franciscan priests, Father Juan de Plasencia and Father Diego Oropesa, to explore more unshattered territories south of Manila. Towards the end of 1583, the two Franciscan friars were able to establish the parishes of Lukban and Tayabas. Standing at the foot of Mount Banahaw, they saw a most beautiful virgin terrain and called it Buena Vista, which literally means beautiful view in Spanish. From there on, a settlement was established in that area and was named Buena Vista. In 1591, Spanish Governor General Gomez Perez das Marinas created the entire eastern coast of Luzon into a one extensive province called Calilayan and made the town of Unisan its capital. Around 1749, the provincial capital was transferred from Unisan to the town of Tayabas. The entire province then took on the name of Tayabas as well, with Buena Vista as one of its barrios. These barrios has attracted many settlers and soon became a sprawling village inhabited by industrious men and women. Due to its location near the sea, the barrio of Benavista was incessantly attacked by the Moros, sea pirates that led the villagers to erect fortresses around the settlement to protect the inhabitants. The barrio subsequently became known as Cota, meaning port. Father Mariano Granja did not think only the town's spiritual needs but also of its material prosperity. Realizing Lucena's commercial possibilities, he supported the improvement of the fort as a doorway for commercial exchange. The priest encouraged the people, including those from the barrios, to supply ships with all available merchandise and help the emerging businessmen make contact with the commercial houses in Manila. Due to Father Mariano Granja's works, the town prospered and became a center of economic activity. The Kofra industry was given a great boost, bringing tremendous wealth to the province. On January 15, 1879, the Principalia and the inhabitants of Kota petitioned the Director General of the Civil Administration for the creation of a new town seating improvements in its infrastructure and economic status. 
the new town would include the barrios of Mayao, Dubai, Iam, Talim, Bukuhan, Isabang, and Dumuit. On November 3, 1879, an Ordinary Superior Civil was issued, creating the new town of Lucena. In March of 1881, Franciscan priest Father Mariano Granha became the first parish priest of Lucena. He improved the town's design and ordered that the streets can be drawn at right angles to each other and that residential houses be constructed along the streets of the town. By the mid-1890s, the Philippine Revolution had broken out. General Miguel Malbar found himself leading an army he personally put together with the leader of the revolution, General Emilio Aguinaldo. With his Batangas Brigade, and with the help of local rebel soldiers, Malbar successfully liberated Tayabas, including the town of Lucena, from the Spaniards on June 15, 1898, after the two-month battle. On February 4, 1899, the Filipino-American War broke out. Soon, the Malolos Republic fell and the Americans occupied the Philippines. The American regime saw the improvement of Lucena as a social and political unit and realized its potential as a center of commerce due to its strategic location. On March 12, 1901, Colonel Cornelius Gardiner signed the order making Lucena the new seat of government and capital of the province of Tayabas. With the Americans came the establishment of many public schools in the Philippines and the importation of American teachers from the United States. In October 1902, the Tayabas High School began in a convent in Lucena. By January 1903, the school had 59 students after it was destroyed by the typhoon in 1905. It was transferred to its present location on June 6, 1906. Formerly known as Quezon Provincial High School, it is now called the Quezon National High School. During the outbreak of World War II in the Philippines, the Japanese army came to Lucena in the evening of December 26, 1941 and bombed Camp Wilhelm, now Camp General Nakar, and the railways of the Manila Railroad. The soldiers occupied the flash residences of many prominent residents of Lucena with many of the citizens fleeing to the nearby barrios. For three years, the Sena was under Japanese rule. On April 4, 1945, came the final assault to deliberate the Sena from the Japanese forces. More than 300 armed men from the 46th Regiment, assisted by the Batangas and Cavite hunters, landed in Kota. They were joined later by the 6th Army Alamo scouts and the 11th Airborne Division Units. By May of 1945, almost all of Quezon province had been liberated. The first local elections after the Second World War were held on November 8, 1947. And as early as December of the same year, the Municipal Council passed Resolution number 133, recommending the convention of the municipality of Lucena into a city. Due to the devastating typhoon of December 26, 1947, many private and public properties sustained considerable damage and the local economy disrupted. 
with severe economic problems plaguing the town. The Municipal Council recommended to the Congress of the Philippines to withhold any action on the proposed creation of the Sena into a city. After several years of continued growth, the Municipal Council believed that Lucena was ready to become a city. During the fourth session of the Congress of the Philippines in 1961, Congressman Manuel S. Inberga and Pascual Espinosa sponsored the bill creating the city of Lucena. Both houses enacted the bill on March 7. 1961. By Republic Act number 3271, Lucena became a city. August 20, 1961 marked its inauguration.